to my channel. Now I know maybe this video might be super controversial, but I'm sure that every one of you watching have seen uh, Kim Kardashian's latest photo shoot. Now trust me, I was just as shocked as all of you were. I was like, whoa, this is a normal article and here you are completely butt naked with everything just staring at us. But after I spent, I don't know, maybe half an hour looking at her butt, I realized how amazing her makeup was. It was just a really warm, natural, smoky eye, um, very warm bronzer sort of used to contour and then a nice pink lip. So I thought, why not jump on the bandwagon and recreate her makeup look? It's probably one of my favorite makeup looks that I've seen on Kim. She's normally very over the top, very overdone. I really like the way that the shoot was styled too. She had this funky little top knot bun, um, the pearls, the earrings, and just the makeup, everything looked gorgeous. Am I gonna sit here and judge her for doing, you know, what she has done? No, but I'm certainly not gonna encourage you guys to do that, and I'm certainly not gonna be doing it myself. But, you know, celebrities, they do weird things to get attention, so that's all I've got to say about it. So if you guys want to see how to get Kim's makeup from her latest uh, paper magazine photo shoot, then just keep on watching. So Kim's skin was obviously extremely photoshopped, but I'm still going to try and get perfect skin just like hers. And to do that today, I'm going to use my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. Then over the top of that, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is a foundation that is designed for HD photography. And so basically what it does is to color correct, it'll pigmentation correct, and it will sort of also smooth out your skin to make it look perfect in photos. I was a little sunburnt on my chest and shoulders at the time of filming this, so my face might look a little bit more yellow and a little less red than my shoulders. Now for the brows, I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Chocolate. Kim's brows are very on point. They're full, they're thick, they're very angular. So I'm just gonna sort of fill mine in to make them look a little bit more like hers and a little bit less boring like my own. I'm now taking a reddish warm toned brown and I'm going to be sweeping that one all the way through the crease and the upper crease area using windscreen wiper motion. This one here is Morocco from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Resi palette. Any warm tone, pinkish, reddish brown will do perfectly. Kim's eyes were very, very warm, very natural, but still there was a really, really warm pinky undertone to the eyeshadow, so do make sure that you work that in. Now taking a more orange based brown, also from the Amrezi palette, and I'm going to be popping that one all over the lid, and then also working that one up into the crease as well, and then using it to darken up the crease with a blending brush. I'm also using a little bit of this one through the lower lash line, smudging it in there and then I'm going to go back in with a blending brush to buff and haze everything out. It's actually a ridiculously easy eyeshadow look. All you need is a couple of warm browns and a blending brush and you are good to go. Now Kim's lashes always look extremely long and extremely feathery so to create that today I'm first going in with a couple of coats of mascara and then following that up with a set of upper and lower strip lashes and here is the finished look. As you can see it pulls it all together nicely. To widen and brighten my eyes I'm using a nude pencil on the inner waterline and then after that we're ready to move on to the face. To conceal today, I'm using one of my most favorite ever drugstore concealers. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Honestly, I think this one is way better than most high-end uh, concealers. So if you are in the market for a new one, definitely go and check this one out. This particular shade that I'm using here is number 20 Sand. And then of course, I'm gonna buff that one all out to ensure a really nice, smooth and seamless finish. If you wanna use your fingers to blend it out, you can do that also, or maybe even a damp beauty blender sponge or another makeup sponge. Um, yeah, that'll work really well also. And then to keep everything in place, I'm setting the makeup with a nice translucent powder that's not cakey or heavy. All right, so moving on to the cheeks now. Kim's cheeks were very, very warm toned. They didn't use a taupe type contour shade like she normally uses. They've used a really, really warm bronze. So today I'm using my Maybelline Sun Bronze bronzer, I think it is. Once again, description bar will have all of the information that you need to know. And then to add a little bit of color to the cheeks and create that pink glow that she has got going on in the shoot, I'm gonna apply this matte blush. This is the color Desert Rose and it's the perfect dusky pink. Now Kim definitely had a nice highlight high up on the cheekbones. Whether or not that was actual highlighter or baby oil, I am not sure. But today I'm going to use my MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle to create a nice dewy glow. 
And then finally to complete the look we need a nice pair of pink lips. So to achieve that today I'm first lining in a dusky pink mauve sort of lip liner and then following up with a nice um, beigey type pink colour. This is the Rimmel Provocalypse, one of their new 16 hour um, lipsticks and they're absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'd be interested to know what you guys thought of this absolutely crazy photo shoot. I am certainly dumbfounded. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!